What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy, Asmund Gold. And today, I'm going to show you guys something that I don't think anybody's talked about yet. And I think that's because nobody's really figured it out. And I think I might have it figured out. But at least, I mean, even if I don't have it figured out, I've got a pretty good clue of, of what's going on. Blizzard has made an anti-exploiting mechanic built into the game. And it's to prevent people from farming mobs in the same way that I will in this video. And uh, if you watch my uh, The Wards of Draenor, um, the instant respawn video that I first did, and uh, that one is probably not as good as this uh, in, in general in terms of experience per hour. But uh, if you watch that one, I think I probably mentioned at some point that the mobs started to give reduced experience. And I couldn't understand why. All I knew is if I reset the instance that it would go away. Now, the same thing happened here. Whenever I was farming these, uh, what, are, what are they? These little like wasps or something like that? I don't even know what they are. Uh, anyway, so... After a while, towards the end of this video, you'll see I start to get only 43 experience instead of 430. And so, obviously, this is a this is very mathematical because it's this, the exact same experience uh, percentage that I was receiving in the other zone, and it was only 10% of the normal experience. And so that leads me to believe that this is a program mechanic that's built into the game to prevent uh, AOE like exploit farming, like the videos that I make. And so I'm very confused as to exactly how it works but I have a pretty good idea. Now, uh, I'll explain a couple of things. Uh, if you're in an instance area, if you reset the instance, it will reset the amount of, uh, of mobs that you can kill to, uh, before, your, um, before all, your, uh, all your experience goes away, before you get the 10% uh, the experience. You, so you can, so like if you're doing an instance, sorry, it's like kind of hard for me to explain this. Uh, if you're doing an instance and you kill all the mobs and then you start getting reduced experience and then you reset the instance then you will cease to get reduced experience, so you'll get 100% experience again. So that proves, again, that it's not based on your character. Or, sorry, it's, yeah, it's not based on your character, it's based on something that's outside in the environment, because if it was based on your character, the instance reset wouldn't work. Okay, uh, the second thing is that you cannot cross-realm zone it. And so that's the first thing I tried, is that, okay, since I knew that one thing, I tried to get somebody to invite me to another realm, and so... Like, okay, since the mobs wouldn't actually be with me because it was a different uh, zone or whatever, that didn't work either. Uh, I tried to log out completely out of my Battle.net account. That also did not work. Um, I tried to run away from the area. I tried logging in and out simply. I tried doing a, uh, a battleground, or not a battleground, a dungeon queue. None of these things seemed to work. And what I think that this is tied to, if I didn't say this already, is the amount of mobs that's on the ground. And the reason that I think that is because whenever I was doing the uh, the defending tower door or whatever, um, is it defending tower door? It's the uh, the quest where you have to defend that one place in uh, STV, and it was the one in the first video. Whenever I ran out of enemies to kill, and they started giving me ten percent experience, if I ran far enough away from the amount from the pile of enemies that I was originally killing to another group of enemies, and I killed them, I gained full experience from those. But it seemed to be very proximity based, so that's what made, leads me to believe that it's based on a proximity of the pile of mobs that's around you. Um, some other things that I don't really know is that I don't know if uh, this affects other players. So, like, if another player comes in here, will the amount of mobs that are on the ground for me uh, also affect their experience gain? And here you can see that I'm getting uh, 43 experience now. And I really don't understand why entirely, but I have, as I said, a really good idea. And I haven't seen anybody talking about this or even bringing this up. And I think obviously it's because nobody's really even tried tried doing this stuff or really, you know, like cross-checked it. And that's why I wanted to show you guys and, uh, you know, what you guys know pretty much what's going on here in terms of, uh, like, AOE farming and all that. And I thought this was really interesting. Now, these mobs don't get loot, and so I can't really tell for sure whether this will affect loot drops or not. But... Uh, at a glance, I don't really think so because it seems to be just experience. Uh, anyway, I found this very interesting. Uh, hopefully you guys did too. There it is on the map. There's where it is. I'll make a separate video showing this zone in itself. And as you guys saw the ex on the experience bar, like I was just getting ridiculous experience here. And uh, here's the other zone I was at, just to re as a refresher. And I don't really have it to where it's, it's like, I mean, you guys can see the video is almost over. But... Uh, the same thing happened to me here, and whenever I ran far enough away from this area, defense of Karabor, there it is, not Talador, Karabor. And um, the exact same thing happened to me. 
So again, uh, I thought this was really interesting. Uh, this is I, I'm like 95% sure this is programmed into the game, and um, I found this very interesting because I'm trying to figure out a way to get around it. And hopefully, uh, by the time the expansion comes out, I'll have a I'll have a way to do it, and maybe maybe in just a few days. I don't really know. I have a couple of other ideas that I'm going to try, but uh, we'll see if those work or not. Uh, anyway, I thought this was very interesting. Hopefully you guys do too. So thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe.